Good morning, Miss Roxanne here, and today is math. What are we going to do with math today, Miss Roxanne? Well, today we're going to multiply decimals. So we're going to look at a video, we're going to do a quiz, and then I'm going to have some problems for you to do, just one through six. So what I materials you need to have is you need to have a piece of paper and you need to have a pencil and go ahead and put your name and your cottage and your teacher's name on the top of it. And uh, we'll go through that. Like I said, the video and the quiz, and then I'll put up the six problems. Staff can stop the video so that you have time to write that down and give you time to solve it. And when we come back, we'll go over your answers. And then you're going to turn in your work to staff so that you can, you can get credit for your hard work. Okay? All right. So let's get started. Here is your video. I'm taking this show seriously, Moby. I just wish we spent more time practicing than designing costumes. <laughs> Dear Tim and Moby, we're learning how to multiply decimals. When will I ever have to do that in the real world? From Blaze. Decimals are handy when you're figuring out money stuff, like whether I can afford some fishing lines for my git box. <laughs> I need six strings, and they're 70 cents a piece. Oh, we'll use a number line. They can help you multiply decimals in the tenths place. I can count off by seven tenths, or 70 cents, the price of each string. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's four and two tenths, or four dollars and 20 cents. Yep, there are faster ways to do it. We can set the numbers up just like a normal multiplication problem. But first, we need to get rid of that pesky decimal. We'll just move it one place to the right so it's a whole number. Don't worry, we're noting how many decimal places have been moved. That way, we can put them back when we're done. We know 7 times 6 is 42. Now, since we moved the decimal one spot to the right in our factors, <laughs> yep, we move it one spot to the left in our product. We start the decimal to the right of a whole number. Then we move it one space to the left. There we go, $4.20 to buy a set of strings. And I've got a fiver burning a hole in my denim vest pocket. <laughs> a new microphone cord, huh? How much did you guys save up? <laughs> exactly 27 cents each. <laughs> wow, you take this harmony thing seriously. <laughs> Let's see. A penny is one hundredth of a dollar. Twenty-seven cents is twenty-seven hundredths of a dollar. And there are seven of you. So, is seven times twenty-seven hundredths enough to buy that cord? Well, remember, multiplying is like adding the same number over and over. In this case, 27 hundredths plus 27 hundredths plus 27 hundredths, and so on. Looks like you can buy the cord with 10 cents to spare. <laughs> wait, wait, let's check our math to be sure. This time, we need to move the decimal from the hundredths place. So we move it two spots to the right. There, now we can solve it like a regular multiplication problem. Let's see. 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 4 is 18, 189. Now to replace that decimal. Yep, we moved it two places right, so now we have to move it two left. $1.89. Our number's checked out. You're right. Enough math. Let's rock! 
Destroy. Yikes. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, we'll give you 41% of your money back. Couldn't you guys have come up with a simple refund? All right, let's do the quiz. Which number line represents the problem? Point or zero point three times four. Hmm. Zero point three times four. Is it A, B, C, or D? Hmm. Is it A? Oh gosh. Is it B? Nope. Is it C? Yes. In order to solve 3.9 times 3, the decimal point should be moved two places to the right, one place to the right, one place to the left, or two places to the left. So it's 7.9. So we moved it all the way so that you could do it, uh, multiply a whole number, and then we'll, re we'll replace it back where it goes, right? Good job. Multiply five, but what by what decimal results in a product of 22? Hmm. Is it 4.2? 4, 4. Uh-huh. We're multiplying. Okay. Is it this? Oh, golly. What about 4.4? 4. Yes. Without doing any calculations, Select the only answer that could be the product of 9.8 and 2,454. So is it 19,873,319? Or is it 21,022? Or is it 18,122? Or is it 24,039.4? Is it D? Yes, because there was only one decimal point. The other one, the decimal point was at the end. So there was nothing that we could do, nothing, nowhere to put it, right? Because it was already over. So that's why that happened. The decimal 9.741 extends to the blank place. Is it a hundredth, a thousandth, a tenth, or hundreds? Hmm. Yes, because 741 thousandths. Says remember tens, hundreds, thousands. Good job. To convert 127.342 into a whole number, how many places must the decimal be moved? So it's gonna make it a whole number. It's, is it three, is it or two, or four, or one? Hmm, I'm guessing it's three. Yeah, good job. Which real world problem can most likely be solved by multiplying decimals? Recording the number of fish in an aquarium, 
estimating the total flight time from uh, New York to Orlando, measuring the length of a backyard fence, or calculating the tip for the restaurant meal. Hmm, which method? Is it B, estimating a total flight? Let's see. Nope. Darn. Okay. Is it measuring the length of a backyard fence? Nope. Gosh. Is it calculating a tip for a restaurant? Yes. Good job. Tim wants to buy five note notebooks. Each costs $2.99. What is the smallest single bill Tim can use to pay for the notebook? Is it a one, a five, a 10, or a 20? It's not a five. Is it the dollar? No. He wants to buy five notebooks. Each of them costs $2.99. Oh, so is that maybe a 20? Yes, because five times $2.99. All right, number nine. Moby buys six candy bars for $1.25 a piece. Rita buys three toothbrushes for $3.35 a piece. Sorry. Tim buys two packs of floss for $4.75 a piece. Who spent the most? Was it six, six candy bars at $1.25? So what would that be? Like seven and a quarter? Rita buys three toothbrushes. Well, that's almost $10. And Tim buys two packs of floss. And that's nearly $10. So who spent the most? Is it Rita or Tim? Let's see. It's Rita. All right, this is the last one. And then we're gonna go into our problems. Tim rides 3.2 miles on his bike every day. He, how far does Tim ride in one week? So if he rides 3.2 times seven, is it 10 miles, 10.2 miles? Is it 16 miles? Is it 22 miles or 25 miles? What do you think? Is it 16? No. Okay. Is it 22? Yes. All right. Terrific. So like I said, we're going to get up and put up some pet, um, I'm sorry, some problems for you up on the board. There's going to be six of them. And I want you to copy them down and uh, work, work through those. Staff, once I put those up, if you can freeze the screen so they can have time to write those down and to solve them. And then uh, you can press play again and we'll go over your answer. So here we go. Hold up just a minute. Sorry about that. Here we go. All right, here's your six problems. Go ahead and stop your tape now. They can copy those down and come back when you're all done solving and we'll go over them. All right, so you should be back now. So what do we have first? We have 6.38 times 5.2. So the first thing you do is move your decimal point over. So it goes over two here. 
and over one on the other side. So you have two and one. And then we're just gonna multiply. We're gonna multiply it out. So two times eight is 16, two times three is six, plus one is seven, two times six is 12, and then five times eight is 40. Carry the four. Three times five is 15, plus four is nine. Teen, carry the one. And then we have five times six is 30 plus one. So we have something that looks like this. Are you with me? Whoops, that line went a little nuts, so sorry. Okay. Okay. All right. So you should have six, a seven, nine plus two is one, and then we should have three and a three. So where did the, de the decimal point go now? Now that we know it's 33,100 and, sorry, that's seven, not a nine, 796. Well, it's three, because remember we took three and moved them all the way to the right. So then you go one, two, three. So your answer is 33.176. Number two, so we have a decimal point here and a decimal point here. So that's what we're gonna put back when we're done solving. Four times three is 12, carry the one. Four times five is 20, plus one is 21, carry the two. Four times four is 16, plus two is 18, carry the one. Four times nine is 36, plus one is 37. And we're, I'm going to put a zero here because that spot is done with. So that's a placeholder. So three times three is nine. Three times 15, uh, five is 15. And we're going to carry the one. Three times four is 12 plus one is 13. Carry the one. Three times nine is 27, plus one is 28. We're gonna add this all together. So we have two, zero, 14. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. That is so hard to write with this doggone cursor. I apologize for my sloppiness. So what we end up having is 3,214.02. All right, so where are, where's our decimal point? So we took two away, so we're gonna put them back and that should be your answer, 3,214.02. All right, so number three, now that you get the hang of it, I'm just gonna give you the answers. So if you worked it all out, number three should be 7.56. Number four should be 252.34. Number five, should be 404.76. Four and your last one is 18.45. 
Remember to have your name on it, your cottage, and your teacher's name, and hand this into uh, staff so that you can get credit for it from your teacher. And that's all.